Hello and welcome to the Collect Your Life Incorporated podcast. I am your host, Janessa A. Henderson, and this is episode 17, also known as the season finale. So this episode is premiering on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2022, because it just makes sense to uh, for this to be premiered on this day. Why? Because the title of this episode is to 2023 and beyond. So this is like a reflection of 2022, uh, lessons, the full scope, as much detail as we can disclose, uh, just to help the people out and, you know, moving on to, 2023. So let's get it. Okay. So first I would like to just thank you guys for rocking with me. Uh, my listeners who listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Anchor. Um, if you listen on YouTube, which, okay, I'm sorry, uh, YouTube, if we're behind on posting things. Um, but we appreciate you nonetheless. So, um, I want to say that 2022, um, was a year of elevation for me. Um, and I say elevation in my personal growth, um, in my spiritual growth, my personal growth, um, challenging times, just a lot as a mother, it was elevation. Um, like I started out the year, um, ready, uh, 2021 was a rough, you know, I went, yeah, it was a rough year. I lost my dad. Like, so it was rough. I'm not gonna lie. Just go ahead and be transparent. It was a rough year. Um, I celebrated a lot of uh, first in 2021. Um, I was finally legally free. Like, um, if you know, you know, I'm uh, talking about with my divorce um, because it was something I was supposed to be detached from. So this year was like, okay, whoo, like, wow. You know, I get to experience more everything and I'm like I'm getting that much closer to finishing my doctoral degree like it was so much um so start out the year um and when I say my faith was tested it was stretched I was stretched the majority of the year like I'm not gonna lie like maybe God gave me a break in January if I recall yeah he gave me a break in January but like February through December I was stretched um and it was all for my growth it was all for me to grow and become who continue to become the woman that he has for me or he's called me to be um this year um of finally you know finally accepted the fact that i'm a real intercessor out here even though i do it did it for my student do it for my students and other people and friends i just accepted the call like this is what god wants me to do um so i i'm walking that out with Jesus but I had it was moments that like I felt alone then I had to be reminded uh that I'm never alone with God like he's always with me as long as I have God in my side he's always there like the presence of God is always with us and that was something that I had to grasp this year. Like, cause I'm so used to saying, you know, I'm doing this alone. I'm doing this alone. I'm doing that alone. I'm doing this alone. Like I'm mommying alone. I'm, you know, I'm just being alone. And then I had to change my mouth. I had to change what I said. 
um, because I'm not doing it alone. God is always with me. So me and God, God is really God doing it, okay? Um, so I had to change my perspective. Um, um, I will say there were things that were thrown my way this year that I never thought I would have experienced. Like, I never thought that um, I would have had my first panic attack. I had a panic attack on Father's Day of 2022. It was my first Father's Day without my dad. Um, first time not being able to call him, not being able to talk to him. And... I was good. I like I feel like I was okay. And then I just started to think. And I had an attack while driving my daughter. And I was like, let me pull over to the side. <sighs> like, take some deep breaths. Relax. And then I had to go see my mama. That's my only living parent. So I had to go see my mama. Um and just give her a hug to lay eyes on her because when I say like it was it scared me because I never had an attack a panic attack before um so yeah so that um was a year first uh, I had crazy people try to date me but they were not available like it didn't make sense like i've never experienced the level of foolishness <laughs> that i've experienced and it was just crazy to me i never would have thought that i would have you know dealt with the foolery that's basically that's all i can say i'm not saying they fools but the foolery that people shenanigans that the people presented themselves to me like and I learned so much, like, about boundaries. I learned so much about access. Like, I'm no longer giving any and everyone access. I am a giver. I love people. Um, but then I, I be wanting my time by myself. Like, um, people, you know, want to hang out. All right, let's schedule that out, okay? Okay. We're not just going to drop, like, really, I'm not a, I am a spare of the moment person. Like, I'm spontaneous. But if I've already decided that I'm going to um, be content with uh, reading today, uh, focusing on my own self-care and focusing on myself and time with Jesus, I'm not really going to come out. Like, especially for stuff that I don't do anymore. A lot of people presented stuff to me like, I don't even do, I don't do certain scenes anymore. Um, and I've learned to, to show up one thing that I've learned. Because um, I know we did an episode on friends in July. And like, as I'm continuing to learn, like after that, it's like, dang, I wish I could do a recap. But basically, you know, um, as we're going in adult friendships i'm learning that certain people n are not just for a certain season like they're still in my life but they're not for everything that you can't tell them everything until you're ready to reveal it to the masses um because it's gonna slip out or your business is gonna be on front street you know or not even just that it's just you don't want that person to have that part of access to you because you don't have that in return with them and not even just that you don't have that return in them you have to protect your mental space and so I know the people that I can they're on um, like my hand has five fingers uh, so it's that many people that I have or less is really this that I go to and talk to about like everything period because I've learned like the people who show up for you 
are the people you focus on according to. Like this year, I was intentional about steward stewarding my friendships well. This was a message that my pastor did. Shout out to my pastor, uh, Pastor Kelvin Gil Givens, the second of Spiritual Growth Ministries, Memphis. If you need a church home or you're just visiting Memphis, we're located in the Whitehaven area. All right, so put a plug in for my church. But my pastor, like first message of, of this year was about stewardship. And it stuck with me. Like I wrote notes and I was like, okay, I'm going to steward this well. I'm going to steward this well. I'm going to steward this well. Like I wanted to make sure I was stewarding relationships well. Um, I wanted to, even if the person wasn't as good a friend, I'm still going to be Janessa. I'm still going to get a gift. I'm still going to do this. But also what I learned in that is you could be, you could be too giving to people and you have to set a boundary like, okay, I can, I can do this for you, but I'm not going to do it as the level. Like I always, whenever I get a gift, I'm like, is this enough for that person? You know, I want to make sure it's the perfect, you know, I wouldn't say the perfect, but like, the best that they have the best like whenever I give something it's the best like I'm getting personal I have personalized stuff in my car now that has to be mailed to people um but like I am very intentional about gift giving um because that's my main love language receiving gifts because I am a giver uh, that's the top one acts of service is really up there too so it's like well, I'm really multilingual, but those are my main two. But anyway, going back to like, I had to learn in the stewarding of my friendships well, which I feel like I did a, a good job. There's areas that I know I have to do better in as far as um, all personal things that I want to make sure I'm doing as a friend. Um, because when I say these people, are my they God put them in my life for a reason and they've been in my life for years and they ain't going nowhere like at all so those people I want them to know how important and special like yes I believe I showed them this year a glimpse but I want to be more intentional and I'm going to focus on those people. Yes, I still have other friends, which they'll get, you know, th they'll get access to me. at you know, as days progress. But these people. I'm being more intentional in 2023 about making sure I'm stewarding those particular relationships well. Um, not that there's any riff or anything. We're actually great, you know, but I want to be more intentional about showing up, showing up for those who always show up for me. Whenever I call these people, I'm going to cry. My God. But I'm, cause I'm, I'm emotional, but because people don't have to be nice to you. I've learned this. People don't have to be your friend. People don't have to take the time out their day and what they have. Because I think about myself. Like, you got 50, 11 things going on in your life. But you take the time to talk to this person and that person. When do you have time for Janessa? This is what I've learned this year. Everybody can get access. After a certain time, if it's not X, Y, and Z texting or calling, they'll see me the next business day. Like. <laughs> I'm not even being rude though y'all like it's just you have to protect that because people will run away with that boundary and then they'll they basically have crushed that boundary that you try to establish and I'm like I can't sit up here and be and I was wondering why I was so overwhelmed I was wondering why I was so stressed because as an intercessor, and we're getting into the spiritual maybe, um, as an intercessor, when you have all these people's problems, it can weigh you down real heavy, real heavy. 
like even my students, I have to keep the boundary with them. Like I pray for y'all always pray for this and that, but I have to remember to give it to the father. It's not my burden to carry. Yes, I'm praying and interceding for you, but I'm not carrying it. And I had to learn that and I'm still learning it. But what I was saying about friendships is you have to make sure that those who are showing up, not even just friendships, friendships, family, whoever, those who continually show up, that's what I am stewarding more intentionally well in 2023. Because whenever I call these people, text, whatever the case may be, they are always there. Like, it's not a, oh, I missed it. Oh, you know, whatever. If I ask them to be somewhere, they're going to be there. You know, like these are intentional people who always come through for me. And I want to make sure that I'm always there for them. So, and as I get you know, into like 2022 and everything I've learned, I've learned that, um, of course, continue to learn that you meet people where they are, where they, where they are. And it's not a slight to them. It's no disrespect. Like, I love you. I love you. But I have to love Janessa a little more. I have to be a little selfish in this season. I have to make sure I'm taking care of me. I'm not finna be run ragged. And that's another thing. I'm not finna be run ragged. If people ask me to be there and I'm there and I give you instructions that God has given me and you don't follow it, that's a slap in the face. So I'm like, this is not me. And I've, you know, not even just that, just... I'm constantly there, constantly there, constantly there for people. And that's not in return. Okay, I have to shift that focus onto the people who are there. There's no slight to the people who never come, who never show up, who are never there for me. There's no slight to them. I still love you, but I have to handle you differently. I have to know who I can tell what to, who I can discuss this with, you know, X, Y, and Z, because I cannot have everybody in my business like people people have to realize that um just because you might not talk to them every day or whatever the case may be doesn't mean you don't love them it's just i have to know who who gets access to all of Janessa who gets the access and I still have to keep a boundary for my own mental state and the boundaries have been something I'm still working on with my therapist like me and her are still working through boundaries okay but it's helping it's it's great to know that I'm getting through it I'm able to adjust um and I would say all of this is all of it's God. Like my faith has increased. My faith was tested to try to, especially in the last quarter of the year, my faith was extremely tested where I was totally dependent on God. Um, I'm smiling, everything, but I had a lot going on under the surface. And so I'm so grateful that God allow me to go through that because he allowed me to also see in my past all like how it's all connecting even now like I'm starting to to be revealed like bits and pieces God's revealing this and that 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 hurt that abuse that manipulation, that this, that, that was a stepping stone for where he is, has brought me to 
and bringing me to. And it's like making more sense. Like, oh, wow. Like, I understand now, God. I get you, God. You know, I understand. So, uh, 2022 was like the year of faith to faith. Literally. Like, I contended for the faith. Like, every, every year. Like, I'm going on a hike. And I'm going up the mountain. Like, that's how I was every part of the year, every month, except for January. I would say God was like, okay, let me, let me slide her in. You know, God was like, let me slide her in. But in every aspect, too, like, because all eyes be on me. And then another, like, I had some good accomplishments during this year. I completed my 10th year of teaching in May. Like, I literally had been teach have been teaching for ten years. You know, I had some, I got some things to be thankful for, of course, other than like the norm. But I, I made some accomplishment. I got ten years of teaching high school students under my belt, and ma majority of them ten years, I've been a level five teacher, level four or five teacher, which is the highest level you can be in the state of Tennessee. Just to look back at my accomplishments, because I'm like, okay, Lord, I didn't do this like I wanted to. But he, like, brought that, brought all these things to my re remembrance. And I successfully completed my first class of my dissertation. Successfully. Which is very competitive. And I have five. I completed all my coursework for my doctorate. All that's complete. I'm on my dissertation. Like, that's a lot. My daughter is in pre-K, advancing and doing well. Like, I got breath in my body. Like, I'm just looking at all the stuff that I've accomplished throughout this year. Like, I'm, continue I'm continually in good health. I have good reports. Like, I fired doctors because i didn't have time and i went to another doctor oh that's not the case with you you're fine you're totally fine got second and third opinions and they confirmed that i'm fine while another doctor was trying to put a diagnosis on me like y'all faith to faith this year for me has been faith to faith so as i go into 2023 i'm not saying People don't, you know, people say, you can say what you want. You can have your own New Year's resolution. You could do that. But as for me, as for Janessa, <laughs> I'm just going to continue to be. I'm going to continue to be who God called me and calls me to be. I'm just going to continue to be Janessa. I'm going to continue to be the daughter, the joint heir to Christ that he's called me to be. I'm going to continue to remember my identity in him. And know that I can literally do all things through Christ. Period. And I will. So 2023, take the time to reflect on what you wish your 2023 to look like. How do you expect, how do you, what, what legacy do you, are you trying to build and leave behind for your family and friends what what goals do you have for each month or maybe every three months what do you want your life to look like not focusing on three or five years but focus on 2023 and the rest will continue to come i really believe that the time, the time spent in prayer and focusing within with God, tune, fine tuning with God, sit, spending that alone time, because we're never alone. He's always with us. Spending that alone time with God is necessary 
throughout 2023. And it'll be for our benefit. But it's just necessary, period, to spend that time to make sure you're stewarding everything well, stewarding your devotion time with God well, stewarding your friendships well, like making sure you're doing that. And another main lesson that I learned towards the end of this year was to choose joy. I might not have $10 in my account, but I'm going to choose joy and I got to buy gas and groceries. I'm going to choose joy. That's literally have been, has been me um, at one occasion in 2022. I've had to choose joy when joy was not favorable for me. And But in choosing that and being obedient, it opens so many doors. It, it opens so many doors. It was truly a blessing. So as you go through your day and you go into 2023, know that just to be, just be, just continue to become who God has set forth for you to be. Continue to be, continue to grow, continue to evolve. Don't stop growing. Don't stop evolving. Don't stop being. And I promise it's going to be a great year. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a happy new year and that you just continue to be.